Hi, I'm Maurice. Hi, I'm Dimitra. So, Maurice, what are we going to talk about today? Avocado. What avocado is? A secure in-memory distributed storage system. So, key value stores uh, is a fundamental building block for uh, storing data and uh, that makes them popular and they are everywhere in modern online services, right? Yes, because they offer high performance, that means uh, low latency and high throughput, but you can scale them out so that you can go over the limits of one node. Mm -hmm. The cloud is ideal for it because you can very easily scale your application depending on your current workload by adding or removing nodes. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh, what about data security? For example, users may store their financial, medical or any other private data. And these data are exposed to the cloud provider, to administrators or any other malicious attacker. Is that right? Yes, this is a severe problem. So the question we try to solve it becomes how to design a secure distributed in-memory key value store for untrusted cloud environments. So we present Avocado. So Avocado is a secure distributed in-memory key value store uh, for uh, the untrusted computing infrastructure. And we designed Avocado uh, with three um, important properties in mind. Strict security properties, which is confidentiality, integrity and, uh, and freshness, uh, fault tolerance or availability, and also uh, Avocado targets uh, performance. Maurice, would you like to tell us a little bit about uh, the basic design? Yeah, so the basic design of a distributed in-memory key value store has a local key value store mm -hmm. in every, every node and a replication layer which provides scalability and availability. And this key value store then communicates over the operating system and the network with other nodes. Mm -hmm. But uh, the host and the network uh, are not necessarily trusted. An attacker can um, uh, compromise uh, the network traffic and also tamper with uh, the protocol execution. Is that correct? Yes, for example, it could change the operation which mm -hmm. a network package uh, shows and therefore compromise the entire system because it puts a protocol in a state which is incorrect. But doesn't BFT already solve that? Uh, so, so BFT indeed in ensures the protocol execution correctness, but it doesn't provide any confidentiality guarantees. And additionally, is uh, is very slow. So, what about using trusted computing for designing Avocado? A trend in trusted computing are trusted execution environments. They provide a abstraction of a secure memory area in which you can put code and data, mm -hmm. which is then even protected against privileged adversaries like the operating system or hypervisors. Examples for these systems are Intel SGX, um, Trust Zone, and AMD SCB. However, these systems come with severe limitations like limited memory, slow I.O., slow attestation. Furthermore, the trust doesn't extend over the network, which makes them not well suited for distributed systems. So when uh, we design Avocado, we identified three core um challenges. The first question we had to answer was uh, how to uh, extend the trust to the network infrastructure uh, where an attacker can uh, compromise the network traffic and delay, drop, resend um, the packets. The second question uh, we had uh, to answer was uh, how to design uh, a secure replication protocol that ensures integrity, confidentiality and freshness uh, in Byzantine settings and at the same time uh, be performant. And lastly, Avocado uh, as uh, conventional, like conventional key value stores uh, should um, uh, store a large amount of data and therefore, Avocado design should overcome the limitation of uh, the enclave memory. So, how Avocado handles all these challenges? Let's go back to the first challenge. Mm -hmm. Distributed systems have to constantly send messages between its nodes. 
However, these nest systems are very expensive in trusted execution environments since the NIC and the OS are not trusted. So therefore, you have to do a lot of security checks if you do a system call. In, and these security checks you have to do in hardware and software. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, you cannot easily map uh, the NIC into the trusted execution environment since then the NIC could uh, leak data to other nodes or to the operating system. Yeah, so um, that is why in Avocado we had to design a secure uh, network stack uh, that uh, relies on uh, ERPC and uh, DBDK and uh, our approach achieves uh, fast networking, avoiding uh, enclave transitions. So uh, in Avocado, the network stack is uh, split into two parts. The logic, the code runs inside the enclave and that it is uh, protected, while the message buffers uh, reside in the untrusted uh, host memory and that optimizes uh, the enclave memory usage. Uh, additionally, we have designed a secure package format that guarantees uh, freshness, uh, which means that uh, Avocado can detect um, packages that are recent and at the same time are uh, stale. Do you like to explain to us how this works in detail? Okay, for example, if Avocado wants to send a message from one node to another node, we would uh, take the message from our Avocado buffer and pass it to the encryption and decryption library, mm -hmm. which will create our package format, thereby providing uh, confidentiality, integrity, and the recent guarantees, so recent detection guarantees. Mm -hmm. This uh, message would then be passed to ERPC, which will put it into the host memory message buffers. We use ERPC to provide a transport layer, this UDP, and DBDK library to uh, provide a networking layer on mm -hmm. IP basis. As mentioned, an attacker can easily tamper with network traffic and they can also crash, stop, and restart uh, nodes. Yeah, but such behaviors um, are can also happen in uh, conventional distributed systems because the network is unreliable there too. Yes, and that's why Avocado does not need to use an expensive BFD protocol because we already secure the network traffic over our uh, st network stack and running the protocol inside the TE protects the state of the protocol. Okay, therefore, as long as uh, the implementation is correct, uh, we can deploy a non byzantine protocol uh, inside the trust execution environment, targeting an untrusted setting. As long as we have the majority of non-faulty nodes, we can use any quorum-based um, non byzantine protocol inside the enclave to ensure both performance and security. In Avocado, we use a multi-writer IBD protocol. Um, for example, if a client issues a GET request, then this GET request would go to a request coordinator, which will then forward the request to all replicas. The request coordinator and the replicas will look up uh, the value to, corresponding to the key mm -hmm. and the timestamp, and the replicas will respond with the value and the timestamp to the request coordinator. The request coordinator will then look if the majority of replicas know the value with the highest timestamp, and if that's the case, it can respond to the client with the value. However, if not the majority knows the value with the highest timestamp, then uh, the request coordinator has to do a second broadcast round where it distributes the timestamp with value and has to wait until the majority of the replicas acknowledge um, this broadcast. Lastly, Avocado is built on top of SGX. However, SGX has a hard memory limit, which is problematic for an in-memory key value store, which needs to store a lot of data in memory. While SGX provides us with a, a paging mechanism to increase our memory area, this paging incurs very high overheads. Yes, that's why Avocado adopts a key value and in memory key value data structure that uh, optimizes uh, the EPC memory uh, footprint. 
Uh, so avocado adopts um, um, so avocado adopts an hybrid approach where we divide the key and uh, the value space inside and outside um, the enclave uh, memory. In particular, keys are stored inside the enclave memory in order to achieve fast lookups, while the values uh, reside in the in, 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 encrypted in the host memory. The node inside the enclave memory is consists of a key and a pointer to the metadata structure. The metadata structure, which is also placed inside the enclave, is comprised by a MAC, which is used for integrity checks, a value size, the logical clock or timestamp, and a pointer which points to the host memory where the encrypted values are stored. And the overall design achieves to minimize the EPC pressure. When we are putting all these components together, we arrive at the following system design. First, we have a configuration and attestation service for fast attestation of our nodes. We haven't shown it in this uh, presentation, but you can find it in the paper. Uh, then we have the replication layer, which together with the networking layer provides a secure replication with non-Byzantine protocols over multiple nodes. And we have a key value store, which is optimized for enclaves to avoid paging behavior. We can then replicate this design over multiple nodes to have our disk to have our avocado. So in the evaluation, Maurice and I were interested in two uh, crucial questions. What is the overall performance of Avocado compared to BFT? And how well uh, does Avocado scale with an increasing number of nodes? In the paper, we also present some more uh, experiments uh, regarding the network stack, um, the single key value store, and also the configuration and the station service. OK, let's look at the overall performance. In this graph, we have plotted uh, Avocado in an unsecure setting. So Avocado itself doesn't provide any security. That is the red bar against Avocado being fully secure in a trusted environment, the green bar. And uh, against BFT Smart as a state-of-the-art version of BFT in the blue bar. What we can see is that Avocado outperforms BFT in all settings and that Avocado is uh, high performance in read and write heavy load workloads. We also see that Avocado suffers a two times overhead between a secure and unsecure version of it. So uh, Avocado uh, scales well with a number of uh, nodes. Uh, in the plot, we measure the throughput, the kilo operations per second of both secure and native executions of the system. And in general, we can see that uh, the overheads of uh, security are approximately two times compared to a native execution. To sum up, in this talk, we presented Avocado, a secure in-memory distributed storage system, which provides uh, strong security guarantees that is confidentiality, integrity, and freshness. Uh, and we answered the question, how can we leverage a DE to design a high performance, secure, and fault tolerance value store? The paper contributions are a secure network stack, a trusted secure network stack, a trusted replication protocol, a trusted in-memory key value store, and lastly, configuration and attestation service, which is not covered in the presentation, but you can see the paper for more details. Thank you for if following. You, yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, contact us.